A repeated measures analysis is needed when a trait is measured on the same individual over time. In this video, we will demonstrate how to analyze repeated measures data using ASREML R. Let's look at the ASREML example dataset GRASS-UV. These data are from an experiment that studied the height in centimetres of 14 plants over time. The plants were either diseased or healthy. Plant heights were measured 1, 3, 5, 7 and 10 weeks after the plants were placed in the glasshouse in a completely random design. We can plot the height of each plant over time by treatment, HC or MAV. The GRASS UV data set is arranged in univariate form, also known as long format, because the height measurements taken on the same plant over time are in a single column. However, repeated measures data can also be arranged in multivariate form, also known as wide format where the measurements at each time are placed in separate columns. Another example data set, GRASS, contains the same data as GRASS UV, but arranged in multivariate form. Here, there are five columns for height, one for each measurement time. ASREML R can handle both the univariate and multivariate forms. However, for some repeated measures analysis, in particular power models, the data must be in univariate form. We'll look now at how to analyse repeated measures data arranged in both univariate and multivariate form. In our repeated measures analysis of the GRASS experiment, we need to adequately model the correlation between height measurements taken on the same plant over time. In ASREML R, this is done by specifying a variance model for the residual term in the ASREML call. ASREML R has a wide range of variance models, which you can learn more about in the ASREML R reference manual. We'll compare five commonly used variance models for repeated measures data. Uniform, power, heterogeneous power, anti-dependence of order one, and unstructured using BIC. The uniform model, or split plot and time model, assumes that the correlations between height measurements are constant over time. This code fits the uniform model to the GRASS data in univariate form. The variance model is fitted to the residual term, which in our example is plant by time. The core variance function on time specifies uniform correlation between height measurements taken on the same plant over time. Let's fit the model and extract its BIC so that we can compare the different variance models later on. To fit the uniform model to the GRASS data in multivariate form and extract its BIC, we would run this code. As before, the uniform model is fitted using the core variance function. However, notice that the code includes trait, a term that isn't in the GRASS dataset. When the data is supplied in multivariate form, the ASREML call converts it automatically to univariate form. During this conversion, a factor called trait is created with the names of the response variates as levels. In our case, a factor trait will be created with five levels representing time. You can learn more about this in the ASREML R reference manual. The power model allows the correlations between height measurements to decrease as the time between them increases, which is a more plausible model for most repeated measures data than assuming uniform correlation.
When fitting the power model, the data must be in univariate form. If your data are in multivariate form, you can convert them in R to univariate form using, for example, the reshape function. To fit the model, we simply need to replace the uniform correlation variance function, core, with the exponential variance function, exp. The box plots of the power model residuals at each time point indicate that the residual variance changes over time. This can be modelled by including heterogeneity into the power model using the XPH variance function. As for the power model, the data must be in univariate form to fit the heterogeneous power model. The anti-dependence model is more flexible than the power model as it allows the correlations between measurements to change over time. Anti-dependence is incorporated using the anti-variance function. The unstructured model is the most general model. It allows the correlations between measurements over time to be unique. The unstructured model is fitted using the US variance function. The models can be formally compared using the big values. The model with the smallest value is the preferred model. This table summarizes the models we fitted with their big values. The anti-dependence model of order 1 has the smallest BIC and is therefore our chosen model. Let's use the walled function to get the sequential walled tests for the fixed effects in our chosen model. The treatment by time interaction is strongly statistically significant with a p-value of 0.00356. That is, there is strong evidence that height profiles of the diseased and healthy plants respond differently over time. The predicted means, or the treatment by time effects, can be obtained using the predict function. You can learn more about performing repeated measures analysis in ASRML-R by consulting the reference manual.